Before we move on with the video, please make sure you like and subscribe. <coughs> a lot of developers get stumped while making a mirror in Roblox. It's pretty clear when you look at all the stuff on the official Roblox developer forum and all the reused clickbait videos on YouTube. Like, bro, seriously. Like, they really try to guess it up. I don't understand. In this video, I will tell you how to make the code for the mirror and make it actually work. And unlike them, I will also explain in detail how it works so you can understand. Mirrors in games like Identity Fraud and Camping 2 use the same strategy. And before you ask, yes, I deliberately use the lowest quality footage possible. Fun fact, they use the same method as Prey from 2006, an actual game. What are you looking at? Enough comparison. How does a rear actually work? Just close this and we spawn back in, it's still there. This is essentially how it works. Take an object, the get the player's position in relation to that object, which is pretty much like treating the object's position as 0-0, zero, zero, the object being the mirror. Invert that position and convert it into world space, which is like translating it back to the original 0, zero and set a clone of the player model or anything that you want to reflect to that new position. In Roblox though, there are a few more steps. Since it's a multiplayer game, you have to make different scripts to reflect stuff that the server has control over, like physics parts, NPCs, and stuff that the player has control over, like their own character. Now let's go through the script in the description and see if you understand it. Right, so this is the module script, you know, um, the local script and the server script uses this because they all have common functions like clear character, reflect part, reflect character right now this is the function that the text if like it gathers all the npcs that function at the top there yep clear character just deletes the character so it can be cleared again this reflect part function uh it's basically what i said earlier it takes uh an original c frame and the mirror uh and gets that c frame in relation to that mirror and then it tears it apart into some pieces and then reflect just a, a few things, like invert a few things, put that back into a, a world space C frame. And that's it. That's the C frame converted. And then it reflects, reflect the, the object that you want to reflect. Now this, we are, um, we're setting the, 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 we are reflecting characters, uh, piece by piece, like limb for limb here, um, because you, you do need to do that. Um, if you were to make animations, it would be way too complicated, more bugs, more more everything, more memory, blah. We don't want that. Um, I did it separately for R6 and R15, you know, all the limbs. That was pretty tedious to do. Obviously, I don't have to tell you that. And that's the mirror. Um, and that's the reflection bit done. That, that's all the functions in the module script. And this is what the local script and the server script use. Right, so this is the server script. You can see there's a mirror module there where we're getting the functions from that module we talked about earlier. The mirrors over there, that's all of our mirrors. You put that in the folder, I'll show you later. Um, here we're looping through all of the mirrors so we can reflect through each of the mirrors. Uh, there's the NPCs there. We just got the NPCs. Um, if if NPCs aren't nil, like if they exist, then we're gonna loop through every NPC and reflect them on the mirror. Look, local fake NPC. If there is no fake NPC, we gotta make one on that if statement right there. And the else after this if if statement is like oh if we find the clone we'll just set the clone to this right um can you put down the else statement for me please thank you see npc equals mirror fakes find first child so yeah if it finds like a, a fake clone already then you we don't need to make a new one right um 
if the original host of the clone is like if it dies or if it doesn't exist anymore we're gonna of course destroy the reflection and if that doesn't happen of course we're gonna reflect the character um that's it yeah um all right so if there's like more than zero clones and if it doesn't find a player like that a player with the name Oh, if it isn't a player, then we we'll have to um, destroy the clone. We gotta remove character clones that no longer belong to the workspace. The section on Roblox Studio, the workspace, yeah. Right. This is the local script. You gotta. There's a few more things going on because it's stuff with players, the client, right? Um, there's a repeat way here. Uh, that's just to make sure that it loads properly. Yeah. Get all player characters. That's just a function. I. Uh, could have used something else other than this function but i i made this code at 3 a.m bro oh come on uh run service or render step that's another loop kind of like the one i told you before but like um this one is like for clients and stuff so this happens every single frame in the player's computer not in the server that's different um yeah so if the player is close enough then we do this if the player character exists then we do this uh, player characters equals get all player characters if there's more than zero player characters then we're gonna loop for every character for every player character uh, we're gonna make a fake name so the server doesn't confuse the real players with the fake ones and it's the same deal with the other NPCs we're just gonna make a new one if there isn't already one and if there is one we just set it over to the variable and if the if the player isn't dead if the player exists then we reflect the player and then uh if there if there's something added like a tool to the player we're gonna have to refresh the character so we can display that tool same thing is if it's removed we gotta take that out and we gotta refresh the player character and that's basically that's basically what happens and that's everything bro i don't know why they hype it all up that much bro it's not that deep the reflection part was the easiest part the hardest part was organizing everything you know getting all the players all that